Welcome to Survival Theory. I came out here today to do a video on stealth fires. Alternatives to the Dakota fire pit. But it's turning into a review of the APO-1 from Survival Lily. And I'll tell you what happened. So I've been using that APO-1 from Survival Lily for a while. And that is a great survival knife. I mean, I love it. I purchased that through Canadian Preparedness, Canadian Prepper, because that was the only way to get it in the U.S., or the best way to get it in the U.S., was through his website, so I got it. I looked for all the features that I wanted in a survival knife. Um, a lot of survival knives are great, but they're too heavy, um, too big, too small. Um, you no, know, just different characteristics that I don't like. Um, and this was a great knife. And once I got it, I used it. Great knife. I love it. Now, with all that being said about how great a knife it is, if it was the apocalypse and I could choose one knife, I don't think it would be that one. And the reason is, I lost it. A great knife but when you get down to it and you're crawling around in the dirt in the debris and going through thick brush you can lose it because that's what happened I have the sheath attached to my belt and the knife is not there it doesn't have a button flap it's just uh, the kydex sheath that holds it securely not that securely so I've got roughly three quarters of a mile to backtrack trace my footsteps and try to find that knife now probably it was when I was crawling around so everywhere I was just regular walking I don't expect to see it but I'm gonna track my every footstep back every footstep because that's too much money to lose so here's the sheath still on my belt no knife so you might be thinking I'll never find it out here but you're wrong Take a look at that. It wasn't even shiny and I found it. Thank goodness. So yeah, this is the APO-1. OS-8 steel from Taiwan. This is actually the APO-1S. Stainless steel with the coating on it. Thank goodness I found it. How do I keep that from coming out again? So because this is a review of the APO-1, let me tell you, it's a beast of a knife. If you've watched my videos where I'm batoning with it, using a ferro rod on it, it's got a sharp spine. It's a good knife, real good knife. Nothing but good things to say about it. Literally nothing but good things. Except I lost it. So when you're deep in the bush crawling around, just remember those sheaths aren't going to secure your knife. Now I've had that happen with a Mora before. It slipped out, but I only had to go back a little bit to find it. So yeah, those Kydex sheaths, I love them, but man, they got to have a strap to hold them. At least if you're going to be, you know, deep in the bush, crawling around, really getting into it. But for normal bushcraft, camping use, yeah, you're not going to lose it. So yes, the APO one's a good knife. Um, I love it. I didn't intend to review this knife, but because I lost it, decided to do it just to cover the sheath aspects of it. Well, thanks for watching Survival Theory. Be sure to like, subscribe.
and I'll see you next time.